Hello and welcome to the NARC Alert, the channel where we look at YouTubers and others to see if they demonstrate any traits that fall within the spectrum of narcissistic personality disorder or NPD. These videos are for fun and entertainment purposes only, strictly my opinion, and remember, please don't send any snark to our possible narcs. So key points to remember, messy fun, and not a diagnosis. Hello, hola, bonjour, hey, hey, y'all. Pura vida, my name is Merck. Welcome back to Narc Alert Reacts. Well, Amber Lynn uploaded again on Sunday. She seems to be uploading on Sundays. Is she not going to church anymore? Hmm, interesting. Anyway, seems like three Sundays in a row she's uploaded. So here we are with a quick Monday reaction. The man, I will give you an update in case you missed it. Uh, Rio ate the finger of a leather glove. We were quite concerned about him, so we went to the vet. He had some x-rays, and he finally had a big poop. <laughs> so it might be TMI, but for I know a lot of people care about the man. So he's doing very fine, and as you can see, he has no trauma about his carrying case. That's his safe space, so that's good for us when we go traveling. Speaking of traveling, someone who will probably never travel... <laughs> like that segue. Miss Amberlyn Reed. Shall we get right into her latest video? It's called I Got a New Piercing. Let's talk about my boyfriend and my hidden talent. Let's go. Well, Rio has decided to join us. I don't know for how long, but he had to come by and say hi. All right, Amber, what's going on? Welcome to a new vlog. I have about done my hair, as you can see. I have not done my makeup, as you can see. I am cozy as can be, as you can see. I have not worn this in forever and it's just so cozy and I love it. But I'm actually about to get ready for the day. Um, I'm gonna go take a quick shower. Do you think she shoots from lying down because when you lay down everything, gravity pushes everything back. So it's probably like a, a, a little extra filter when you're laying down. I don't think I'm washing my hair today. I don't oh, know. I wish I would have vlogged yesterday because my hair was on point. I'm going to put a photo right here. It was the day after I, I don't know. Some people say it's not crimping. I don't know. It's an actual crimper. So I don't know. It is what it is. But the waves were so pretty. I have never had my hair like that before. Um, the only time I've ever had my hair crimps or <laughs> waves, whatever it may be. Is when it was like half up half down but yesterday i wore it completely down with my hair like that and it was just i was obsessed like that is definitely a look can you imagine going on and talking for a minute about how gorgeous your hair is i mean honest to god amber this isn't why people call you a narcissist but this really isn't helping like this alone this kind of insane vanity this desperate need for validation on its own isn't a sign of narcissism a lot of people do this but my gosh oh my god you guys yesterday my hair was stunning it was stunning i took pictures of it i, I took pictures so i could show everybody how gorgeous i mean it was gorgeous it's so gross that's so gross Look that i am obsessed <laughs> with i love so much on me i i feel myself becoming like more confident as the time goes on and i love that oh i'm just okay looking in the mirror and deciding you like your hair and your hair is really pretty isn't confidence necessarily you know what confidence is amber confidence is going out when your hair looks like crap because you're confident in yourself try being confident without the 52 filters and the ton, ton, ton of makeup. Well, not ton, but all the eye makeup and the crimping. Uh, it'll then be confident. Although she is a dichotomy because look at, she goes on camera looking like hell all the time. So I don't know. She's a, she's an enigma. Just trying to find things that make me feel more confident and do things that make me feel more confident. Fair. Being on camera like this is definitely not one of them, but... <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I wish I would have... See, it should be. It absolutely should be. 
do I know that when I was in Costa Rica, I looked like hell? I absolutely know that. Did I care? I absolutely did not care because I'm happy and confident. So I don't really care if my hair is done. It's not important. You're not confident, Amber. You're faking. I walked today so you guys could see my hair. It was just like, it was a really good hair day. And I appreciate days like that. Okay. Get it. So I'm going to get ready. Point. I'll see you guys when I'm done. So the whole time getting ready today, I've been listening to Trisha's podcast with Gigi Gorgeous. And I don't know what it is, but I have like... <laughs> Last time she did this hair, okay, wait a second. She's going to go into some, Amber, be very careful what you're going to say here. I'm going to go back because she might be saying something. Um, last time she did her hair, she told us that it took her like hours and hours and hours to sit and crimp her hair. So in her last shot, her hair was dead straight. So she's just spent hours and hours and hours putting on her best skin tight mesh shirt crimping her hair for hours, getting those stupid looking wings, what she thinks is good, and all dolled up to do what? Sit in front of the camera? I mean, yeah, I do I put makeup on? You bet. I had a shower. I washed my hair. I'm also probably going out later to do some things, but that's besides the point. With Gigi Gorgeous. And I don't know what it is, but I have like... <laughs> I think I have a crush on Gigi Gorgeous, which is weird because I'm not really into like the whole femme, girly, pop type of thing. I think I have like a massive crush on her. So that's a thing. So my hair is super messy today, but I have... <coughs> <coughs> so Amber, who's never admitted to liking girly girls before, is all of a sudden now going to come out, she tell, tell us that she likes Gigi Gorgeous? Do you think this could just be to try and stir up some controversy? Because she really didn't uh, get down with uh, trans individuals when she was with Casey, did she? I, I seem to recall her mocking Casey's binder. But Gigi's okay. Okay, Amber, make that make sense. Actually, I'm And you're not a man hater, we know that, because you love Alex's shook. And you have a love-hate with Zachary Michael. You love Yo Mama. You were sitting in Neg's live chats. You've been in uh, Natter's live chats. You like men. So you're not a man-hater. Living for it. I live for the best. Anyways, we actually need to have a little discussion. I'll set you guys right here. I'm trying to decide. What One second. Rio, don't eat that plant. Don't eat the plant. What perfume I want to wear today? Oh, I recently bought new perfume. I bought a bunch of these like little sample sizes of Marc Jacobs perfume because I've never actually smelt it before and I've always wanted to. So far, I've only. How many perfumes does one human being need? This is ridiculous. This stupid shelf, which from my recollect, recollect, which from my recollection is in her living room. She has all her stupid perfumes out displayed on her living room shelf. Oh, she's so tacky. I smelled this one, which is Daisy Marc Jacobs, and it's so oh my god, so, I love it. I love it. Cat on the counter. That's okay. So one of my favorite perfumes, which I've said this, is Versace Bright Crystal, and I have barely any more left, so I'm gonna use that. I'm definitely gonna have to buy more. Wait a second. Barely any more left. That looks like a fair amount. For me, that would be like, <laughs> well, I don't even wear perfume to sit around the house and film by myself, but. Okay. Okay, that's not true. That's a lie. When I do buy perfume, I do, I do put it on to stream, but I wear it for myself. So maybe that's what she's doing. So I guess we can be fair and say, maybe she just likes to wear the perfume for herself, right? But why so many? Why so many? And they're all sweet, garbagey things. Hey, you know what? I'm going to give her props. This screenshot, she doesn't look bad. You don't look bad. You've looked worse. I'll give you that. So one of my favorite perfumes, which I've said this, is Versace Bright Crystal. And I have barely any more left. That's so a lot I'm of perfume. That. I'm definitely going to have to buy more because it's barely even wanting to come out. People are assuming she that That's I have a, a boyfriend. Of 
no i am not interested in men i am a lesbian i've said that countless times the only man i would she's the best lesbian i think she got an award i think all the beans got together and gave her an award not you guys because you don't claim her but i think there was a bean award ceremony and she won like for best bean of the year or something hmm, i don't know I'll have to look back. But um, yeah, Amber Lynn is actually a lesbian. So the fact that she's trying to be vague booking on her social media is to get people talking and speculating about the sex of her future caretaker. I believe this is all just set up. I believe this is all just set up. Although she was talking to men at the casino, so make that make sense, Amber would ever be interested in is yo mama am i joking or am i not joking we'll never know but in a recent video how about you're joking because yo mama is married so stop publicly flirting with him he's married amber i don't care what his genitals are shaped like he's married leave him alone go stalk somebody else I said that I'm talking to people and just because I said the word people instead of saying like I'm it's talking true. to women or girls people just automatically assume that yep. meant I'm talking to a man people did make that speculation but of course you set that up so we would do that right I kind of had that feeling that's not what that means okay so I just got back inside from walking Twinkie and now I'm finishing up the uh Gigi Gorgeous oh my god and Trisha podcast imagine if they had a podcast together I would die i feel like i could walk hasn't trisha called you yet amber i thought you were going to go be on trisha's podcast because you relate with her so much you were going to get out on there and show trisha how you should be her new bestie because you guys are so much alike you said it was your dream and then apparently she said oh nick Acato, nick Acato avocado or amberlyn reed she like mumbled your name quickly so you decided you were actually a scheduled guest at when is that I want to mark it down. Them for literally ever. Um, I do have them on times two speed because that is how I watch literally everything. I don't believe that. My attention span is so bad. Anyways, um, you guys, I think today's the day. I have been saying for a very long time, very very long time, that there is a piercing. That I oh okay, I recall because we did watch this in Discord, and I recall this little segment, the. Uh, preamble to the piercing, as we'll call it, the piercing preamble goes on and on and on and on. So we're going to speed this up a little bit because you're going to, if you haven't seen this, you will understand this goes ad nauseum before she even tells us where she's going to get the piercing. So strap in. I want. It used to be my septum. I used to want a septum piercing really bad, but then I got like a fake septum because I wanted to see how it would look on me and at the time it did not look good this was back in like 2019 my face was a lot more round i literally looked like the moon like it was like full moon tonight every single day the first time i have done this some of these hate comments i am just like okay amber you've also got your hair pulled right back i'm guessing you, you know honestly let's be fair amber you're not that far off from moon face you're really not you know you got you got your you got your hair wearing differently but down my face is still really big but nowhere near as big as it, it once was same. I it's the same <clears throat> excuse me let's have a little look back because i think it's pretty close to the same so there's here here oh this is perfect okay she does look bigger she looks bigger in this shot it's also about angles and your hair and your makeup you got no makeup on in this one okay i don't know she will we'll give her she looks better i'll give her that but i already said she looks pretty good today this look is working yeah, so i'm not her. really sure how a septum piercing would look on me now but <sighs> that means nothing because honestly if i saw her out in the wild my first thought wouldn't be god that girl's look is great it just wouldn't i'm sorry color me monster if i saw a 600 pound five foot tall woman coming at me down the street walking to me my first look wouldn't be, my first thought wouldn't be that look is slay. It just wouldn't. 
practice never get ring that I had back then has scarred me from ever getting that. So that's not what it is. Um, it's wrong. something different. Okay. And it's probably not going to be a big deal to all y'all, but it's just something that I have wanted for literally okay. so long. You want it for a long time. I used to have snake bites, by the way. That's why I have. She's those little snake bites. dots there and i have this nostril mm-hmm. pierced so i've definitely snake got some piercings you know my ears are pierced i used to have my pierced. cartilage pierced i've actually pierced it three times pierced. but my cartilage never wants to heal i don't know what it is some people can't get their cartilage pierced i might be one of them but there's another like low-key piercing like it's low-key uh <laughs> i've been wanting for so long but i've just been scared because i don't like needles i have piercings i know i get it i've always been super scared every single time she still hasn't told us yet where she's getting her new low-key piercing prior to getting a piercing. I've honestly never felt like I maybe deserved this new piercing. It's kind of like putting glitter on a pile of poop. Like what? But I have been feeling more self-love for myself and I have been caring for myself more and I have been feeling- Why don't you show self-love by losing weight? You know, crimping your hair and getting a new piercing, buying a new color of eyeliner or uh, putting fairy dust in your fucking hair, pardon me. That's not self-love, Amber. You're going to die because of your weight. You're going to die because of your weight. Even if you put more fairy hair in. So why don't you show self-love by getting better or making some steps? Because right now you're doing nothing and you're all alone, unchecked with nobody to be accountable to. And this is not going to end up good, Amber. I, I got a bad feeling about this particular era. More confident. And I just, I don't feel like a pile of poop anymore. <laughs> That's a good thing. I feel no, like you're maybe still the same, Amber. Fun. You know, I got the fairy hair. Uh, who knows what's next? But right now I'm feeling super anxious and super. She still hasn't told us where the new piercing is, by the way. We're nervous. Like, I'm scared. But we're going to go. Um, I didn't schedule an appointment. I'm pretty sure this place can do walk-ins. I did some research. I found, you know, a place that had, like, great reviews. So I'm nervous, y'all. <laughs> it's, like, in the pit of my stomach, and it makes me feel nauseous, and I'm kind of, like, shaking a little bit. I know it's so dumb. It's literally just a needle. I'll be fine. I've been through worse. I had a full hysterectomy. Like, calm down, Berlin. You're going to be fine. If I was her, I would be more nervous about just generally going out in public and having to sit in chairs and how people are going to react to me and am I going to fit. And those things would stress me out. Absolutely. I would feel ashamed and all kinds of, oh, all the emotions just from being out in public. It wouldn't for me be so much about the piercing, which is like what, 10, 10 seconds? Wait, wait, okay, so we're downtown and this is the place that I'm choosing 23rd Street body piercing. What did you say, Amber? I said my nose is going to be sore for days. And what else? Scary cat. <laughs> yes. I'm I'm nervous, mom. They know. I already talked to them about it. Oh, I bet you did. I'm very nervous. Well, are you super close? It feels close. You're fine. But well, yeah, I'm nervous. But all right. I think mom doesn't want to show her body. I think mom's doing a tight, tight close on her face because she probably thinks her little girl is so pretty and her makeup is so big, city and fancy. Um, but the body's. Uh, I don't know. It's just a thought I had. I could be completely wrong. But it was my first gut instinct. Because that's what I would do. I already got the um, camera man. Okay. Oh, sorry. Um, we have some cleaning solution and some gauze type deal type situation. So just happy to post it. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs> you guys, it's done. And my mom is a hater. She just doesn't get piercings, but I'm obsessed. Um, oh my God, it was just a great time. We did it. And I actually really like it a lot. It was a great um, time. What do you guys think? I love it. I've had a stud in my nose in forever. What do you think? It looks like basically the same. I don't know, Amber. The double nose piercing, is that really a thing? I don't see that so much anymore. Feels to me like a 10, 15 year old trend. Is she going to get like the, is she going to start wearing a cuff up here like I used to when I was a little punk rocker? I wore a little, I had an ear cuff that had a chain that attached to the earring down here. Is she going to start doing that stuff? She's so behind on things. Ever okay. This I watered so much, it was crazy. I was actually just standing in front of this. It's so pretty. I love it. So it's now we have pretty, to, we had to start kind of far because there was no parking. So, and then we're going to go get something to eat. I'm not sure what else. So we're at Panda Express. You know what, I, I can't help but think in the beginning of Fleen, Amber was trying to fake this. I'm so mobile for my size. And even though I'm big, I'm just like everybody else. You know, that stuff she's doing at the beginning of Feline didn't last very long. I think that's what she's doing here with her mom right now. She's trying to show off. First of all, I, I'm willing to bet that 
her coming home is like they think she's some kind of big celebrity because she probably plays that up a lot. And, you know, they're just yokels, and here comes big, fancy Amber. She's so popular on the Internet. Um, and so she's trying to, like, wear the sunglasses like she's some big celebrity, and she's, like, sashaying around the city because she's so mobile and active. But I'm, I'm interested to see how long this lasts because this phase doesn't usually last very long. I think this is the, this is Amber's, uh, like, a grooming, for lack of a better word, uh, her new caretakers. She seems to do this. As she's, she's fun, and she's happy, and she's making steps to improve herself, and she's ever so mobile, and she goes out all the time in the beginning. But that never lasts, because then once we start ordering the takeouts, and and uh, I, I think her mom is, sees through her, I think her mom sees through her just from subtle little things she said. Like when Amber was doing the puppet show thing in the museum, mom was behind the camera then and mom said, oh my God, Amber, stop it or something. Like she was embarrassed, you know? I think mom sees through her. How mean. Yeah. Although mommy is kind of, they, they're certainly to me enabling each other and we'll discuss that in a minute. The uh, broccoli beef. Of course, I'm all about the broccoli, broccoli Amber. So it's then, always about the goddamn right, so broccoli. Today, share your mini talents with your community. Well, you guys, actually a friend recently asked me this question and my answer is that I can touch my nose with my tongue. Not a talent. Not a talent. Oh, no. Not a talent, Amber. And can, maybe we should send a dictionary to her post office box. Because she has a problem with a few words. Like she doesn't understand what literally means. Literally. She doesn't clearly understand what talent means. I also got some diet. She doesn't know what love is. Coke. So, so I think what we're going to do next is I'm going to go to this place. It's literally right across from us. The Delta 8. So it's a smoke shop. I think I'm going to get some Delta 8. Um, my hair is so frizzy. It's a mess. But I think I like the look of that. So I think I like embrace it with me. So I'm going to go do that. And then there's a store my mom wants to go to. I don't know. So we're going to do that. And then I need new foundation because I officially used my last bit of foundation today. So I have no more at all. And there's only one type of foundation that I use. I need it, so I'm also gonna go do that. Okay, so Delta Hall. Oh, you can see your liquid. Oh, yeah, I'll see through. Cool. She's so funny. So this is my Delta Hall. She shouldn't even be holding this. My mom is sober of everything. Like, she doesn't do anything. <laughs> okay. You shouldn't even be holding this? Okay, shut the F up, Amber. Sober people are allowed to hold things, okay? I know sober chefs who cook with alcohol. Stop. If you're so concerned about your mom's sobriety, why are you making her drive you to, to friggin' Delta 8 shops and and wherever the hell you get the buzz balls from? You're not concerned about your mother's sobriety. As a matter of fact, it really feels like you're trying to sabotage it because you really never drank that much before you moved home to your sober mama. You just, it's just... It blows my mind, quite frankly, because you are the first one to say, oh, I went to the barbecue, but they were sitting there and they were eating their chips and their popcorn and, their and I'm trying to diet and they're all eating things in front of me. You're making your mom drive you there to buy this shit. It's, it's beyond the pale. Beyond the pale. Don't tell me that you love and care about your mother because you don't. You absolutely don't. You're using her. The way you use everybody else. She doesn't even drink. So this is a uh, Delta. I've never actually had this brand before, but oh, look at how cute this is. And then for free, he was like, you can have this. I got you. I was like, oh, okay. Delta 8 liquid? Like, what do you do with this? You just drink you just it? drink it like an energy shot. Like, I don't, I don't think I'll ever. Like <laughs> is he giving it to me for free? Yeah, you know what? I, I'm an edibles producer. Our, our markup is exceptionally high. So we have a lot of space to give away product, all right? I, I often, if people have ordered for me, you know, I often throw extra stuff in your order. It's not a big deal, Amber. He didn't give it to you because you're special or cute or he was flirting with you. It's friggin' Delta 8. It's a shot of Delta 8 juice. Probably cost him four cents to produce it. Energy shot for me. That's dangerous. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever put that in my mouth, ever. So, but I did get it for free. But we got that. Now, you want to go to a place called City Trends? Is that what yeah. It's called? So, we're going to go there. She's been wanting to go there. So, we're going to go do that now. All right. So, I got some goodies. Okay, so I literally just got home, fed the fur babies, and now I'm gonna wash my hands. And I'm actually gonna clean my nose ring because I. When has she ever washed her hands? I've never seen her wash her hands in 10 years of watching her. I mean, 10 years of videos. Never seen her wash her hands. Ever.
have been out all day long. It's actually pretty late at night right now. So I guess I'm gonna start with washing my hands. I've already done all this. Like I literally have got my nose pierced before. I used to have snake bites, like a whole nine. Let me wash my hands. Oh, oh, I see. She's only doing it because she's gonna touch her nose. It's not because she washes her hands <laughs> like a normal human being. You know, I often think I can't help it. I think about it all the time. You know how she sleeps with makeup on? Not shaming her for that. A lot of us do that. I've done it many times. Um, but if I do that, the first thing I do when I wake up in the morning is wash my face. Like she doesn't wash her face before she goes to bed, but she also doesn't wash her face when she gets up. How do you start the day without washing your face? It's just really weird to me. So no, she's only washing her hands because she's going to- This is gonna a good day. I'm always in the piercing face. place. I actually was recognized a few times. So if you guys are watching, hello, hello. And I want to say the weirdest, weirdest coincidence happened today, but it's also like a sign, I feel like. So- Okay, she was recognized a few times in the piercing place. The piercing place that takes walk-ins because they're not very busy had so many people in it when Amber was there that she was recognized multiple times. Interesting. Well, I've been talking to someone on Instagram, like, who wants to hang out? And we've been, I don't know, it's just been a, good, a little bit of time. They want to hang out, and I felt, like, good vibes from them. Like, I've had a lot of people reach out to me and say, like, let's hang out and stuff. And it's like, I always feel kind of weird about that because I'm just like, a weird girly <laughs> so like i never respond you should feel weird about that amber you should absolutely feel weird about strangers messaging you and saying let's hang out you should parasocial relationships are very difficult and mostly a lot of people generally have the best of intentions but it's not a good idea you don't know these people you don't know anything about them just because you got a vibe from an Instagram message. What the hell, what the F are you talking about? You don't get a vibe from words on a paper, Amber, you know, on a device. You gotta be careful because, you know, I'm sorry, the clock is ticking. Somebody's gonna troll you. You're just like such a prime target to be taken advantage of and you're too stupid to know it. So you're out there at the goddamn casino giving away your number to strangers. And now people on Instagram want to hang out with you. And this is where it's going to get even more interesting. This is very sus. But I responded to them. And uh, one of the people that I uh, was recognized by today was like, oh my God, can I get a photo? Like, my friend is obsessed with you. Y'all. Short story short, the friend they were talking about is the literal person that I'm talking to on Instagram because they ended up messaging me and they're like, oh my God, you met my... And that doesn't make her suspicious. She thinks that's a grand coincidence. Well, everybody in Oklahoma just loves her and they're all friends. It's amazing. Isn't it weird, Amber, that you met somebody in the tattoo shop that was friends with the person you're confiding with on Instagram? Do you think you might have told them tomorrow I'm going to go, hey, do you have any, uh, do you think she might have asked them for recommendations of a tattoo shop if they live in o Oklahoma? Or she might have said, I'm going to go with my mommy tomorrow and get my new tattoo. And then her best friend or her close friend coincidentally shows up at the tattoo shop. Amber, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> God. Really good friend. And I was like, Oh my god. Oh my god what like, a if magical. that's not a sign that we need to meet, it's like magic. I know you're watching hi. If that's not a sign we need to meet at least one time, then I don't know what is. Because literally, like when I met them wow. today um at the piercing place, like they had such good energy already. So it's like God, she would be so easy to con. I'm sorry, I'm glad I'm an honest person. But Amber, you're going to run into the wrong person eventually. You are just way too dumb to be out there on your own. There's a reason why you shouldn't be living alone. The fact that the person on Instagram also has the same, like, really good energy. I'm just like, this is great. Sorry, I'm over here, like, trying to open this. I just think it's crazy because it's like, of all piercing places, of all times and days. And what a wild. People, it's like, how did. What a wild coincidence that that magical thing happened. God, you're stupid. We oh my God. I just think that's so cool. So this is piercing aftercare. And then they gave me some of these, um, they're just like little sponge things. Yeah, cleaning so, products, Amber, you know, for your skin. With, you're not so used on to directions, it. it says spray before doing anything. So I'm going to spray on there. Oh, and I know you have to like twist it. 
it's good to like twist it like once a oh, day. No, let's not. But, like, I don't need to watch her do this. No pain. This is beautifully done. I am going to get some um, antibacterial soap tomorrow. Um, I forgot to get some today, so I'm going to get that tomorrow. That's very important. It's okay. also clean. You can also use salt water as well. But when I got this done, I was like 12, 13. Um, I'm 32 now, so it's been a hot minute. And I like I got a really 12, big... 13 to 32, 20 years. Okay, so a hot minute apparently is 20 years. A, a few videos ago, I was asking, how long is a hot minute? I'm not sure. But now we know it's 20 years. Big bump right next to it which is actually very common for people who get their nose pierced. I'm just keeping my fingers crossed. Please, universe, don't give me that crazy bump. So look, her sweater is so best. small that she can't, it doesn't, it slides off And let me give you guys a little haul of what I got today from the good old, uh, wherever we She thinks that's sexy. I bet you any money she thinks that's alluring. <laughs> her, her delicate shoulders showing. To me, it just looks like, damn girl, your cardigan is really struggling to stay on. Went City Trends, I think is what it's called. Okay, really quick haul. I got some perfume. Okay, she got Paris some... Hilton perfume. I, yeah, just thought it was so I, I don't care about crap. Oh, oh look, she got also, perfume. She yes, got I've always wanted something one, shiny. And, like, and she got I was like, you know what? This is earring. totally worth it. So that's so, different. That is my haul. That's everything I got. Okay, yeah, you guys. Okay. So I did something that I wouldn't have done a month ago. And I just want to share these little things with you because it does show that I am healing. So my ex would order ramen a lot. That's like one of her favorite things that she would have. And so every time I would think about like, oh, I kind of want ramen, like actual real ramen, I wouldn't do it. There's a lot of things that I stopped myself from doing. A lot of things that people probably don't understand, which is fine. Um, I couldn't eat the ramen, guys. Fled hurt me so bad that even the sight of ramen, I'd break down into tears. Fled wrecked Christmas and ramen. But I ordered myself ramen, and I'm telling you guys, it is probably the best ramen I've ever had in my life. Um, I put it in a bowl from my home, obviously, and I warmed it up just a smidge a little bit because I like it hot. I want it to almost burn my tongue. And then I also got some fried pickles. So good. Did I think of my ex while eating this? Yes. But have I cried? No. Would I have cried a month ago? Yes. Um, I oh, well, you're just leaps and bounds. Amber, you're practically healed. You're so stupid. My God, I'm sorry. I've been bawling. Over your goddamn ramen. Stop. In my soup. So I am making progress. I know a lot of people don't get it, don't understand. And I just feel like it's kind of dumb that I I'd hate to see what happens if she ever has to, if she ever runs into a bowl of daddy's pasta. I have to even like say that or reiterate that, but we're all different folks and little things remind me of big memories and memories that used to make me want to cry. And now they don't. Twinkie, what was green? What was green, what Amber? Was green on your face? Everyone's wondering, what was it? So everyone was asking, why is my dog turning green? Y'all, it is so dumb. Good Remember story. the pesto I had mm -hmm. earlier in the day? Yes, we do. It was from Walmart. It was their cheapest brand of pasta available. And you said it was literally the best thing you've ever eaten in your life. I am so good about cleaning up my mess You're because so I don't like a dirty apartment that's not how i am you You're, guys know that you know guys that. watch my videos no. I just... we do watch your videos you're a filthy woman your house is really dirty amber we've seen your carpet we've seen your body we've seen your hair and your clothes we've seen the piles of laundry we've seen the sink full of dishes we've seen doors broken and and damage in your further in your other apartment you're a, a, a slob i'm sorry you are a slob just don't like a dirty apartment yeah when you do I, you that, I was kind of in a rush and you're i like a pig in a trough amber your house is disgusting it's disgusting this one's probably clean because you just moved in there give it a little time actually left my bowl on the coffee table and while i was gone twinkie did get into it and she's fine though she didn't get sick um her bowel movements are normal and everything like that but thank you guys so much for like reaching out and being like 
Oh my god, is she okay? Because I was literally so confused. I don't think dogs are supposed to eat a lot of garlic, for one. I'm not sure. I'm, not, I'm a cat person. So I don't know. I, I could stand corrected on that. Here's another thought I have. Uh, the great value Walmart size frozen pastas. I know them because I buy them for Joan. Joan eats frozen dinners for lunch. Um, they are not a big portion of food. There's not a big portion there. So there's. I do not believe that Amber Lynn didn't finish a Walmart great value pasta. It's a small portion. I could eat the whole thing. Uh, so, it, uh, number two, I don't think pesto stains like that. I'm a chef. I've made a lot of pesto over the years. And yeah, you know, when you're squeezing it in a towel, that towel's going to get green. But just from eating it, I don't think it's going to stain that deeply. And, uh, It wasn't the right color of green, unless maybe maybe Walmart uses food coloring. Possible. It just seemed a lot of wrong, Amber. And, and, and the bottom line is, you finished eating and you left it on your coffee table? I've been guilty of leaving dirty dishes in my sink. I scrape the food out and leave the dirty dish in the sink. But you don't leave food dishes on your coffee table and go out when you've got pets there. And then tell us how you love a clean apartment and you're so clean all the time. No, because a clean person wouldn't have that even built into their DNA. A clean person would have picked up the bowl and put it in the sink or at least washed it or put it in the dishwasher or whatever. You're so full of crap, your eyes are brown. And then I found the trash. And I said, oh, my fault, my mistake. I am only human, I'm not a robot. Yeah, I try my very best to take care of my babies. You guys know they're my literal heart and soul. But anyways, I'm going to go. I hope that you guys did enjoy this vlog, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. She's laying down again. She's doing the lay down. She's got the lay down thing going on. Well, she's back to the horizontal filter just to add in to make things even better for her. Sorry, we're a little crooked there. Well, she's gone back to the horizontal filter on top of all the other filters. We're layering filters now. Well, what did you think of that video? She's going to tell us she's trolling because she said talking about her boyfriend. Once again, I'm going to say that's not trolling. That's clickbait or lying because that's not trolling. <laughs> so there you go. So she's getting her mom to drive her to her dealer, <laughs> for lack of a better word. She's leaving her food on the on the coffee table. She's meeting strange people out in the world. I'm concerned. This uh, era might not end well for our girl. <laughs> Amber, you're not my girl. You never were. You never will be. Anyway, from me and Rio's bum, <laughs> thank you all for joining me for this quick Monday reaction. Until we meet again, please don't forget to be kind. And hasta luego.